Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week we learned how to Google, how to find a mentor, and got a free Gatsby 3.0 course. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week. Maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Dino 1.14 was released and Cloudflare Images is now available. With images, you can store, resize, optimize, and serve images to your applications and websites. Onto the VS Code extension of the week, if you write documentation or markdown-based articles in VS Code like I do, the Code Spell Checker extension comes in really handy. If you misspell something, it will let you know, and it has support for many different languages. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. Google is a developer's best friend. In this video from Jeff at Fireship, you'll learn how to use Google like a 10x developer to get the information that you need faster. Next from Honeypot, we have another untold developer story all about Cassidy Williams, who happens to be TikTok and social media royalty. She's the queen of memes. Go check out this one to hear all about her cool stories. And next up from Anya Kubo, you'll learn how to use GraphQL and GraphCMS to build a Next.js Disney Plus clone. It's two hours and she goes through every aspect of creating the site. Next from Coding Cat Dev, Alex and Brittany chat with Wes MacGyver Boss all about creating tasty courses. Are you having a hard time finding a good mentor? In this video from Anna McDougall, she talks about what makes a good mentor and ways to find a good mentor. Next up, Tiffin Tech tells us what to expect on your first day of work as a software engineer or developer. And we have another great video from Brad Traversy. He gives us some tips on getting back into programming after taking a break from coding. Next up from Kyle at Web Dev Simplified, you'll learn how to create advanced CSS dropdown menus that aren't boring. They can even include forms and advanced navigation. And we have another great course from Free Code Camp. In this one, you'll learn how to use Gatsby version 3 in this full course for beginners. Gatsby is a static site generator that makes it quick to develop websites. And in this video, you'll learn how to create a recipes app. In this next video from Program with Eric, he shows us eight ways to create a Vue.js app in 2021. It's crazy how many ways there are. So go check this out to see each one to help you decide which one might be best for you. And if you want some coding humor, go check out this video from Kenny Gunderman, every coding interview ever. Sometimes they're a breeze and sometimes they're like this. And in this next video from TechBase, you'll learn how to build a great portfolio that will land you a job. He talks about what makes a portfolio great and how to create a portfolio. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Smashing Magazine was Interactive Learning Tools for Front-End Developers. This article compiles a list of interactive learning sites that can help you learn things like CSS Flexbox, Grid, Animations, JavaScript Features, Regex, Vim, and much more. For podcasts, go check out the latest Syntax episode where Scott and Wes talk about what's new in JavaScript ES 2022. Over on Instagram, go check out this awesome carousel from Front End Joe, where you'll learn how to make some clean checkbox controls. And if you want some laughs over on TikTok, go check out Me So Dope. Again, there's more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. If you missed last week's episode, go check that one out as well. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.